Hey and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to create this uh, kind of sci-fi old monitor style text effect inside Microsoft Word, including those scan lines. So let's open a new document and get started. We will start with drawing a new text shape. So select insert shape new text shape and we'll make it fairly big and type in game over like this. And for this example I'm using font storm face. I will post the link in the description. We may change the size to maybe 150, maybe a little bit less. I will resize the text box to be bigger. I will also make the, font, uh, the text center aligned, change the text box outline to a fill to be no fill and outline to be no outline. And I will position it somewhere around the middle of the page. Then I will change the font color to be actually white. So I'll jump to home ribbon and set the font color to white. And in order to see anything, I have to change the background color. It is the page color. So I'll jump to design the ribbon and change the page color to be black. The next step is to right click the shape, select format shape, and we will add an outer glow effect for the text itself. So we'll select text options, text effects, open the glow properties and set the color to be white. The size may be, for example, 10 points. Maybe 10 points is too much. Maybe we can change it to like five points or so. Maybe seven or eight. It kind of depends also on the font size. So I'm pretty happy with this result. So I will copy paste this text box again and I will change the color to be maybe kind of red or, or violet like pinkish color. I can do it from the format ribbon or from the home ribbon. So I will change the text color in here to be maybe this or pink one. And I have to change the glow color to have the same color. So this will be also pink. Then I will copy paste it again, change this to blue or green maybe, this time green, glow also to green. And one more time and I will change this to blue, maybe this one. Okay, so now I have four different text uh, boxes. I have to align them to be on the same position. So I will open the selection pane, select all of them, align them properly, this to the center and to the middle. Then I will select the bottom most text box, which is the white one, and move it to the top. And what I will do with the other ones is I will offset them a little bit. And I will use arrow keys on my keyboard, so I will maybe move five uh, units to the left and five units to the top my bottom for the blue one. For the green one, I will move five units to the right, maybe five units to the bottom or so. And the same thing with the red, I will maybe move it to the left and top like this. The top right corner is kind of empty, so I may duplicate this text box one more time. And this time I may use, for example, the yellow color for the glow and for the text. Again, I will move it to the back of the document below any other text and move it in the top right corner of the text just a little bit so we get a hint of a different color, the yellow one. I believe I was using the very same colors for my preview image. The text may be harder to read, but we can change, you know, we can solve it by just having the outer glow effect being a little bit smaller. Maybe we can change it only for this white text. So maybe for this white text, I will make it five or six. I still want to get a little bit of glow. You will notice that with the out no different glow settings, it actually is not lining up perfectly, so I may go with very close number to eight, maybe like seven, just so I can see those inner parts of the of the individual letters, but it will not screw my you know layout too much. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this result. So the only part missing is those scan arrows, scan lines. I may hide the format shape for now and actually I may hide also all the text layers for now so they don't distract us. And for the next step I may also change the page background quickly to maybe some darker gray because what I want to do is I want to create a pattern which will be done from a black rectangle and transparent rectangle. So I will display view and I will display the grid lines that will make the drawing of the rectangle much easier Then I will insert a new rectangle maybe like this and change the color to be black with no outline 
I will copy paste this rectangle with below the first one and change the fill to be no fill that is to be transparent then I will select both of them and copy them by either selecting the copy button or just hitting the control C then I will zoom out I can hide those two rectangles and I will draw one more rectangle for which I will use this fill so I will draw one more rectangle right click select format shape I will set no line but for the fill I will say picture and I will select from clipboard so as you can see we have this picture from the clipboard used as a fill image for the rectangle but we are using only using one instance we want this to be tile so we will check the tile picture as texture and it will immediately give us what we are looking for there just because it's remembering those old values by default it will be set to 100 and 100 for x and y scale we want to scale while to be a little bit small maybe 30 or 40 percent and we will also change the transparency but before we do so we will hide the grid lines we don't need it anymore and we will also change the page background color to be black and show all those text layers as you can see our rectangle is small it's not covering the second word uh, second word so i'll make it a little bit bigger and then i will play with transparency maybe around 90 percent or so i may also move it below the first text box so it's only affecting those glowing parts or maybe what i can do is i can change it to not have not uh, added the black stripes but the white stripes instead and instead of uh, defining new texture what i can do is i can quickly open the picture properties before i do it i will reset the transparency to be zero so i can see it more clearly i will open the picture properties and for the picture co correction i believe i will raise the brightness all the way up until the black changes to white at this point so now i have white lines white transparent lines instead of black lines i will make this rectangle to be all over the page and then of course i will change the transparency to be much less visible so i will jump to the fill and increase the transparency to maybe around 90 or even more percent like this so it's just subtle effect maybe 90 is fine okay and that's it for today's effect thanks for watching